What's happening guys? So today I want to speak to you about coming up with brand names. This is something that's really difficult for a lot of new sellers and just entrepreneurs in general. And what we're going to do is use four tools. And these are tools I've collected over the years to make this as efficient as possible. We're going to use four tools to come up with a brand name, check whether or not we could trademark that brand name in the future, and then do an initial design of that brand name as well. Okay, so here we are on Namelix. Namelix.com. Make sure you favorite this, jump back to it when you need. And then here we have multiple ways of beginning with this tool. Now this tool is a business name generator. This comes up with your brand name and is super effective if you're in a bit of a rut with coming up with your brand name. Now it can do that based on your input here. And we could input certain letters, like you could start with the first letter of each of your kids' names or the first letter of your name and surname. You could just put in certain letters that you like the sound of or that you think are powerful or that you think will resonate with your audience and you want say a Z and a B in your name. You could input something like that. You can also input an industry and it will somehow generate industry specific names. It will uh, just create names that would be fitting to that niche. Now, with whatever you choose here, I really recommend that you try keep the name quite open, especially if you're doing private label. Now, the reason for that is you don't want to corner yourself into only kitchen. In you know, perhaps in a few months you decide you want to actually do a pet brand, or you find an incredible niche in home decor. You could go into multiple areas. And so keeping this name a little bit more open and flexible will mean you only need one brand name, one trademark, which can go onto those other products and later just become known for whatever products you create the best, wherever you end up creating your real niche. So I do suggest don't go too descriptive, keep it arbitrary and open and fanciful uh, so it can be applied to anything. Uh, one example would actually be Amazon, the name Amazon applies to almost anything. So they can sell almost anything. Whereas if you go to B&H Photo, they are specifically selling camera gear because it's B&H Photo. So this is really important. Now for this example, I'm gonna input pets and use this just to generate ideas to show you how the tool works. Now it's just processing. And here it comes up with a couple of ideas. So. At the top, first thing, you will notice that you can choose to use keywords. If you click this button, it will make sure that whatever brand names populate here have P-E-T-S in them. Make sure these keywords are in these. So if you're staying really open, you're not gonna use this. If you want specific sounds, like let's say B-A-Z, you want Baz in your name, you're gonna put Baz in there and use keywords. Most important, do you say this? make sure domain available is clicked and .com. So it's only gonna show us available .coms. Remember, .com is very powerful and you want this for your website if you can get it. Okay, so domain available, it's actually generated these again and made sure that they're available as .com. So we can look through these and choose whatever we like. So as you can see, this is really cool. We've got swoops and somehow these just all sound like pet specific names but what's really nice is they're gonna probably, in most cases, keep themselves open so we could move into other categories if needed. Okay, so this one looks quite good. I'm gonna use this as our example, schnoods.com. That's really gonna be awesome for a pet brand, but almost any brand, and we could move with this. So this is the idea that we have found here. So here you're actually only using this tool to come up with the name. There's no need to do anything else at this point. And once you have that idea, let's say schnoods.com, we can move over to a tool called namechecker.com. You can see it lacks the last E in checker and uh, favorite this as well. So you can jump back to it anytime you need. So in the top, I'm gonna input schnoods. So here immediately we can see that schnoods.com is available. We can also see multiple social media sites and whether we could have the at username on those sites. So something to just remember when doing this, for example, here it says Facebook is gone. Now you can still create a Schnoods Facebook page. So I wouldn't let this deter you from continuing with this name. 
you're just going to need to change the username that you use on Facebook. So it can't be at Schnoods. It would have to be at Schnoods products or at Schnoods brand, etc. So you can still have a Facebook page, but your at username will have to be something a little bit different. I think this is perfectly fine. For me, the most important is that .com. Side note here on the most important, Facebook, extremely important to create this for your brand. Instagram, very important and one of the easiest to build audiences on currently. And then secondarily, I'd say YouTube and Pinterest. Pinterest better for some niches than others. Uh, but those are the order in which I would do this. So great, at this point we know we can get the .com and now you wanna to come to uspto.gov. Again, favorite this so you can jump back to it. At the top, we're gonna to hit trademarks. Remember, this is for US trademark checks. You could also go to gov.uk and do that for the UK or whichever country you're selling in, go and check there. But if you're selling in the US, remember trademarks are region specific to where you make sales. So if you're selling in the US, you're using uspto.gov. Now scroll down on trademarks, you'll see this search trademark database and search test. We're gonna click on that. Here, we scroll down a bit and we're gonna click on basic word mark search. Here is where we're gonna input our name. So we input schnoods and submit query. Now it comes back with this, and this is in fact the screen that you do want to see. It says there's no test records for this name. And so this is very, very good for us. It's saying no one has a registered trademark with this exact name, this exact spelling of this name. But phonetically the same names, that is names that sound the same but could be spelled differently, are still a problem with trademarks. So it's very important, try it in different variations. So we could try it without the C here because schnood still sounds the same spelled like that, right? So we can check this. And again, it seems that we're fine. So I would uh, recommend doing this type of check. We could do schnoods with a U and try this. And again, it looks good. So this is very important. Another thing you can do is just do Google searches for the name and look if there are other relevant businesses, if there are other businesses using the name. But this looks quite good because anyone who's you know, running a, a, quite a successful business or, or really leveraging this name as their brand, most likely would have looked to trademark it. So this looks good at this point. So now if you're happy with all your checks here and that there's no trademarks that seem to conflict in any way with the name you're thinking of doing, we can move on to our initial design. So this tool is called LogoJoy. You can see logojoy.com, favorite this as well. I really recommend it, it's also free and it's a great way to come up with your initial concept. Now, if we type in schnoods here as our brand name at the top, and then we can also add a slogan if we wish, I'm gonna leave that out for now. We can also choose our colors. So let's say for a pet brand, perhaps we wanted to go with more of a, let's say a blue. And then on the side here, we can actually choose symbols. Now it is really important to keep in mind that you might change category at some point. You may well sell in multiple different categories, but remember the trademark will be on your word mark, not on the actual picture or logo. So if you ever did go into a different niche, you could use a different picture or logo with the same name. So that's something to consider, but you might wanna just have like one brand, one logo, and in that case, your symbol obviously shouldn't be too pet type. It should be pretty flexible. And now if we hit generate, it's actually gonna put all of that together for us and give us examples of what our logo may look like. And we can adjust each of these. Now keep in mind, if it's your first time using LogoJoy, they're gonna take you through an intro phase, which is gonna take you through the same process. Once you're set up, you can just come in like this and change things around. So. Over here, we can see some really cool examples, some more pet-like and others a little bit more open and flexible to any niche. So for this example, so I really like the way this one is looking and I'm simply gonna click on it so I can edit it in more detail. So the first thing is if you click on the symbol, it brings up symbols and you can search for different symbols in this box here. So we might wanna go with something a little more open. That looks quite cool. 
and to save time i'm actually just gonna go with that so here's our new logo super open could be on pretty much any products we can change colors if we wish you can see this has like a a silver scale which I, i'm not the biggest fan of those we could go with something a little more simple so we can adjust all the colors of everything here we can do lowercase we can do uppercase uh, we can change anything like that and we can change sizing and spacing if that's something you're into sometimes a little more modern if you break it out like this a little more uh, we can also move the logo around so maybe we want it on top uh, etc so you can play with all of these types of things you can also find other variations of the name down the left hand side here and so you can see quite quickly you can actually come up with something that looks very decent over here we can change sizing if uh, you want to maybe have the name a little bit more prominent we can also change positioning of things here horizontal and vertical positioning we want it a little bit you know set back a little more like that so in this way you can really quickly come up with your logo now if you scroll down you'll be able to see this on a t-shirt you'll be able to see it on an app on a storefront even and business cards so it gives you a very good feel of is this brand for you is this something that you could build out over the long term so that's really important now at this point you have gone through the process of coming up with a name especially if you're stuck in a rut you have checked that name in terms of getting it as a dot com and on different social media sites and you've checked whether or not it has trademark issues or if it conflicts with already registered trademarks uh, and on top of that you've done an initial design so you're able to now pass this initial design onto a professional designer on upwork or fiverr fiverr has some really great people if you're in need uh, you can actually just buy it from logo joy at a very low price or you can actually have one of their pro designers come in and change it up more for you uh, if you want to take it to you know further customization so guys i hope you find this valuable this is always how i start my brand names this has helped a ton of the clients that i do work with and guys thank you so much for subscribing we almost had a thousand subscribers i really appreciate that i know i haven't been posting enough lately i'm going to be working on this for sure let me know if you like the format of this type of video if you got value in this please share it with someone else who's struggling with that brand name and share your brand names if you're open to it or if you you know have a few test brand names share them below i'd love to see you can actually share the logo joy idea just like this share at the top and copy this url right here and share that with friends family get feedback from communities you're a part of and uh, i would love to see some of the things you guys come up with good luck with this and i'll see you guys in the next video